Off of a desert highway in the small town of Tonopah, Nevada, there is a motel. It's the Cholrophobic's ultimate nightmare. At 30 to 45 bucks a night, with three and a half stars on Yelp and TripAdvisor, the motel is actually a pretty good deal. It comes with a 1970s microwave in each room, HBO is included, and Bob, the proprietor, is said to be incredibly hospitable. But the hotel has a theme that doesn't sit right with every guest. Bob runs the Clown <laughs> Hotel. From the moment a guest checks into the Clown Motel, they are greeted by a life-size clown figure holding two smaller clowns like little evil pets. The walls are covered in clown posters, clown toys, clown dolls. There are over 600 clowns in the office, and the clown theme is ubiquitous. Recently, the Clown Motel has rocketed to fame, powered in part by the ever-increasing sense of cold Phobia. It's my guess that if you were born in the 1980s or after, when you think of clowns, you think of evil. But why? The roots of this go all the way back to a guy named Joseph Grimaldi, who created both the makeup and much of the humor style we associate with modern clowns. He was beloved and incredibly famous, but he also had a tragic personal life. And when his memoirs were written by Charles Dickens, Dickens created the image of the tragic clown. The clown who is hiding a uh, deep sadness under that makeup and those smiles. This tragic clown character would be what we associated with clowns for many years to come. In the 1930s, we had a whole wave of hobo clowns. But in the 50s and 60s, clowns started to become cleaned up. They weren't drunks. They were funny. They were for children. This was the Ronald McDonald clown. And then came the quintessential moment when clowns turned evil. In the 1970s, John Wayne Gacy killed 33 people. He became known as the Killer Clown. From here on out, it is nothing but evil clowns. You have Stephen King's It. You have killer clowns from outer space. And as there are less good clowns, and children see more and more evil clowns, it creates a feedback loop in which the clown has basically become synonymous with terror. So while the Clown Motel may feel like something dreamed up in a horror writer's fevered imagination, in fact, the Clown Motel says, we just like clowns. It's not our fault you're afraid. Of course, not everyone is afraid of clowns. So you can always walk next door to the 100-year-old miner cemetery. They'd also love a visit. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. What is it like to actually stay there. Christopher Sabella, a comic book writer and journalist, launched a Kickstarter to go live in the Clown Motel for a full month, which he is doing at this moment. So I had to ask, is it terrifying? What's it like there? I thought, well, that's an interesting theme for a motel. It's literally in the middle of the desert, like 200 miles from, from civilization, either direction. You know, every day is sort of a new adventure, like what's going to happen when I get up and leave the room. <laughs> um, from from everything I've seen, it's not haunted. Um, I'm not seen any ghosts. You know, I have two clown portraits on my wall uh, that are staring at me right now. Like, like, like they seem totally normal now. If anything, I'm just getting more and more used to them. I think I'm, I'm only going to be more comfortable with clowns than I've ever been.